80 plus platinum power supplies are here. This is the platinum series of power supplies from Seasonic, which is a very creative name because it has 80 plus platinum certification. Very creative. Okay, so we've got sort of a platinum theme to the overall look of the package, sort of this like shiny whitish metallic y sort of thing going on. Let's have a look at, mm, let me see, let's look at this side of the box first. So here we see the general specs. This is an ATX 12 volt or EPS 12 volt power supply. There's the dimensions, 80 plus platinum, one of the first power supplies to obtain that certification. It's got all your usual protections, under voltage protection, over current protection, over voltage protection, all that good stuff. Uh, okay, full range something something. Yep, so it accepts all inputs whether you're in Europe or Japan or Canada or wherever the case may be. Uh, all the connectors are here, but we'll see that when we when we open up the box. So you can see it can provide up to 996 watts on the 12 volt rail, almost the entire rated wattage on the 12 volt rail alone. It is a fully modular power supply as you guys can see here. And here's a little switch that says fan control, hybrid and normal. I wonder what that means. I guess we'll find out as we move along with this unboxing. So let's get the box open first and we find a couple of things here. Our commitment to quality, 24 hour service. I was not aware that Seasonic had 24 hour service, but apparently they do. They also have a seven year warranty on this particular unit. Here is your owner's manual in a variety of different languages. Hopefully one of them is English. Oh, look at this. There's an 860 watt available as well, but we only have the 1000 watt to show you guys. So ah, 80 plus platinum here. Let's see what they have to say. Check this out. Greater than 90, 92 and 89% efficient at 20, 50 and 100% operating loads. That is un freaking believable because you could almost call it 90 plus at this point and it wouldn't be much of a stretch. The, uh, the 80 plus program which was designed to make power supplies or to make consumers more aware of the efficiency uh, of the role that efficiency plays in your power supply has, uh, has brought us a long way in the last few years because it used to be that uh, you know a great power supply was 80 plus. Well now we have left that benchmark long, far, far, far behind. So we got a couple of accessories here, including some Velcro cable ties, uh, silver, or rather silver, Seasonic uh, powered by sticker. We've got some regular zip cable ties. We've got a little screwdriver, which helps you install these screws to install the power supply in your case. We've also got some great closed cell foam padding that's gonna keep it nice and protected. We've got a, oh, that's gold. Marks off for that Seasonic. This is an 80 plus platinum power supply. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Okay, we've actually got the power supply itself, which I'm not going to show you yet. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now. And let's have a look at the modular cables that are included. So, here we go. The first thing we're going to check out is the 24-pin connector. So the 24-pin connector looks a little something like this. Okay, there we go. It's approximately sort of one Linus arm length in length and it plugs in via split connector on the power supply side and then it has a split 20 slash 4 pin, 24 pin connector on the other side. Plenty long for whatever you might need it for. We've got uh, one of these single connector to dual PCIe 6 plus 2 pin connectors. So you have one of those, two of those, three of those, Three of those for up to three-way SLI or crossfire with high-end cards natively. And then we've got dual, and I'm going to see how long these ones are because I'm a little bit on the curious side here. Dual eight-pin connectors. So these ones plug into probably the same outlets on the power supply, and then they go to an eight-pin or a four-plus four-pin. And these look like they should be plenty long enough at about one Linus arm length to reach from your power supply in the bottom of your case to the top, although you might need a bit of an extension if you have a particularly tall case with a bottom-mounted power supply. All right, what do we got here? Lots and lots of different kinds of adapters. So we've got a Molex to dual floppy, just in case you still need one of those. We've got a three-seta cable. We have another three-seta cable. We have another three SATA cable. We have a two SATA cable. 
And that is it. So three three SATA cables and one two SATA cable. And then we have a three Molex cable, a three Molex cable, and a two Molex cable. So that gives you all of your options in terms of mounting. So I'm just going to take this box and this is going to help me as I tell you about some of the cool features of this particular unit. So let's check out the physical aspects of it first. So on the back we find the fully modular power supply and check this out. So remove before use. Okay, fine. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't say rip it in pieces before use, but whatever. So check this out, hybrid or normal fan control. So what hybrid fan control actually does is it allows the fan to operate completely silently up until about 30% load. So it's actually going to take this very high quality fan, which by the way is a San A San Yodenki fan. So very, very commonly, widely known to be some of the highest quality fans available. And it just turns it off because when you're 80 plus platinum and you're only pulling about, you know, 330 watts. Apparently, this power supply with the heat sinks that you can see through the uh, the grill here on the top, with those heat sinks is capable of being passively cooled up to that point. Then the fan ramps up. Actually, they've got a picture of the fan curve here, so I might as well show it to you on the box. So then this is fanless mode up to 30%. Up to 50% we're in silent mode, so where the fan RPMs are, you can see on this part of the graph, barely, barely, barely doing anything. Okay, and then finally, greater than 50%, we're in cooling mode, and that is going to ramp up the fan so you don't reach sort of 100% of your RPMs until 100% load. And by the time you're actually pulling a thousand watts through a power supply, we're talking like dual GTX 590s, you know, heavily overclocked CPU, bunch of drives. This is a very, very loaded system, and it's only going to reach that kind of a load once in a very, very, very while. So Seasonic's also claiming tight voltage regulation, plus or minus 2%, which is way, way, way within the ATX specification. So let's have a look at the rest of the unit. Here we've got our power switch. We've got our power input. We've got honeycomb grills, which are optimal for the best airflow. Okay, moving over here, we've got the 80 plus platinum branding as well as the platinum power supply series branding here. On the modular interface side, you can see we've got our motherboard stuff, CPU. This is an, oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so here is three PCIe, those dual connector ones. And he, and then, okay, 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 here, 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 here. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how this works. So you can either have three graphics cards and then dual EPS connectors, or you can have four graphics cards and a single EPS connector, because that is the point of a modular power supply, which many manufacturers, by the way, seem to have forgotten, is that it should give you some kind of a choice in terms of which connectors you want to plug into it. We then also have six peripheral connectors, so you can use those for your Molex four pins or your SATA cables, and that is pretty much it. You also get to choose which fan mode you want. I think I mentioned that a couple times, but I think that's really cool. You can go in hybrid mode or you can just go in normal mode, which is not going to turn off the fan should you not desire it to do so. Although I cannot imagine why you would not want it to do that. So in summary, it is 80 plus platinum, which is about as efficient as it gets these days, has a very high quality fan, which it if you prefer, we'll just simply turn off when your computer is idling, which means that this should be, in theory, pretty much the quietest power supply you can get, short of Seasonic's own X-Series passive power supplies, uh, which I love, and they're 80 plus gold, so this is like even more lovable than 80 plus gold. So thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Couple things we missed. Gold-plated connectors are going to give you uh, the best possible connection between the power supply and the motherboard. So you've heard of people talking about things like, uh, where is it, 24-pin uh, burn, where there's too much current being drawn through the 24-pin connector because you've got a lot of graphics cards installed, and a bad connection causes the, uh, the wires to actually burn inside, whether it's on the motherboard or whether it's in the connector. Well, gold plating, remember, gold is not actually the most conductive substance, but what it is is it is malleable, it is soft. So it, is, it has a better chance of making a good connection between one thing and another thing than something that is not gold. So that is something that I did miss. Another thing is that the capacitors in here are all solid 
solid caps, and they are rated at 105 degrees. So that is definitely hotter than I hope your power supply ever runs, but in the event that it does, it is rated for it.